How to Beat 1001 Spikes, Tips and Tricks from the Game Masters at the Backloggery. Take control of the brave Abon Hawkins and set out to rescue your father from the depths of the perilous ruins of Ucampa. Armed with only his trusty throwing daggers, this adventure will take every last bit of daring and patience to plunder the riches of Ucampa. Do you have what it takes? With help from this video cassette guide, you'll be equipped with all the tools you need to win. But beware, game player, 1001 Spikes is extremely difficult. We recommend using a controller equipped with a slow motion feature to make some sections easier. Are you ready? Then let's begin. These mice will explain all of Abon's controls. Watch their directions closely and practice these moves as much as you can so you're prepared for the dangers that lay ahead. You begin with 1,001 lives. It might seem like a lot, but you'll need every last one to complete this adventure. Your goal in each scene is to first acquire the key and then make it to the exit. Each scene contains one of these glowing blue skulls. Make sure to collect these for an extra turn. Beware, this is much easier said than done. Bonus hint, collecting several skulls will earn you extra players, such as Commander Video and Sujimoto. This is your first encounter with poison darts. They will be one of the toughest trials you will face on your adventure. Grab this key with precise timing. Pick up the skull before hitting the switch, or else you won't be able to reach it. Remember, daggers are a Bond's only weapon. Be sure to use them to defeat these deadly scorpions before they can attack you. When a scorpion turns pink, that means they're really angry and then move at warp speed. Skulls are often hidden inside cracked blocks like these. A quick dagger throw will reveal your prize. To grab the skull on level 1-5, jump between the platforms so they fall separately. Spikes could be hidden at any block, so always be on guard. If you're defeated by one, remember its location for the next attempt. Hit both switches to enter the ruins of Ocampa. You've come too far to turn back now. The real quest begins now. Here's a hot tip. Eagle head statues can be pushed and used to get to out of reach areas. Spikes can make it difficult to push this eagle head statue. Watch out. Be mindful of this poison dart hidden in the shadows near the exit. It's very easy to miss. Inch toward the edge of the platform to cause this block to fall. Don't let it hit you. This switch will release the scorpions from their cage. It's better to jump over them than to fight them. Time your jumps in between the poison darts. If you move too quickly, you'll have to start over. You can't make this jump after picking up the skull. Instead, jump back to the platform you started on. You did it. You've got to keep moving if you hope to make it to the exit before the entire room collapses. Watch out for the poison darts. Level 2-5 is the toughest challenge you'll face early on. If your skills aren't up to it yet, you can skip the level and come back at a later time. Early in the scene, you can use your throwing daggers to deflect the poison darts, break the block, and pick up this skull. We highly recommend you use the slow motion feature on your controller if it's available. You can jump on these fire-breathing faces to discover this shortcut. The sixth scene of every area doesn't contain any real challenges. You can pass through these Invisiblocks to pick up the skull. Congratulations, you've got your first artifact. Scene 3-1 is called 1001 Spikes. Timing is important here, so wait for your chance. It takes forever. A bond can't reach this block just by jumping. There isn't enough space. Jump on this block and wait for it to crumble instead. These moving platforms follow a set path. Time your fall and bypass the first room of spikes. Oh no, there are spikes inside this floating girder. Use your high jump to stay in the air long enough for them to lower back inside the platform. Grab the key and make your way back to complete the scene. These hopping wampum blocks will crush you in an instant. Pay close attention to their jumping pattern and run for it duck to avoid the spinning fan blades. A Bon almost lost his hat here. Here's a pro strategy to save some extra seconds after picking up the key. Watch closely.
Use the wooden box to protect you from the spikes, but don't stand around on it too long or else you'll be in trouble. These rolling boulders can be tricky to figure out. Use your low jump to move in between them. If you're feeling especially brave, you can pick up the skull hidden in this breakable block. This switch will interrupt the flow of the rocks and open a path for you. Timing is key here. You must make your move as soon as the spikes lower or else you won't have enough time to make it. Before collecting your second artifact, look for this hidden passageway to collect the skull. The second artifact, the key of Peddler, is now yours. You've made it to the fiery depths of Ucampa, adventurer. Things are about to get much more difficult. The flames will spew forth from the lava below. Be careful not to touch it. These switching orbs are something you haven't seen yet. Hitting them with your dagger will reveal invisible platforms. Timing is key here. You must throw your knife during your fall to activate the platform below. Watch out for this hidden poison dart trap that will shoot as soon as you land. At the start of 4-2, if you wait around too long, spikes will get you. Ouch! The only way to survive this trap is to jump on the crumbling blocks in a special order. Watch closely as our Game Master demonstrates. Take this falling block for a ride to grab the skull near the exit. The ceiling crumbles right away at the start of this scene. Look, the skull is hidden right here at the start. Ride the lava raft while dodging the golden fan blade. Wait until the wampum statues are at the highest point of their jump. Go now! You're not done yet. There's hidden spikes right by the door. You're going to need quick reflexes to block these darts with your daggers. Once again, you must time your run across the spikes. Keep your eyes peeled for blocks that are safe. The blocks will begin to fall as soon as the stage begins. Be quick! Strike the switch with your daggers, but don't stand around. Spikes are hidden in the floor. You'll need to ride the floating platform to reach the key. Use your daggers to reflect the darts as necessary. The third artifact is now yours. Only one more to go. The adventure continues and the danger grows in the depths of Ucampa. Make it to this small platform before activating the second switch. You have just enough time to make it to this safe area at the top. After you grab the key, you only have a short time to be able to grab the glowing skull before the platform disappears. Timing is essential to activate this switch orb. If you miss it, you'll fall into the bottomless pit. The rolling boulders are back. Watch for openings in between each boulder and move when you see an opening. You can destroy this block to make jumping a little easier. There are some hidden spikes in these moving platforms. Jump in between to grab the key. Don't fall. These ball bearings are just like the rolling boulders, but much faster. Reflexes are key here. This statue will jump in the opposite direction that Iban is facing. Watch this pattern for perfect timing. Jump onto the switch to open the secret passage, then ride the golden statue. Here's a top secret tip. Iban's daggers can reverse the direction of the spinning fan blades. This tip will be very useful in 5-4. To avoid the angry Wapum statues, run to this safe block. After the statue jumps over your head, run for it and don't stop. The second set of angry statues takes even more cunning. Don't get caught underneath. Making your way back is even more difficult. This scene is a cakewalk compared to what you've had to deal with in earlier levels. You're getting close now. Work your way up the tower to collect the Key of Sovereign. If you haven't obtained the keys in all previous levels, you'll get the bad ending here. You will have to adventure back and complete all the levels you gave up and skipped on. If you have, 
placed the artifacts in their pedestals to open the door to the inner sanctum. The final guardian is the last challenge you have to face. There's only one weak spot on this giant statue. Trick it into jumping toward you, then run underneath. Use the blocks to jump on its back and hit the weak point. After four hits, the statue will become frightened. Now the ceiling will start to crumble, making it much more difficult to reach the weak point. This is the way to win. Good luck. After collecting your riches, the ruins of Ucampa begin to collapse. Run for the exit. What's this? It turns out that your father wasn't in Ucampa after all, but instead has moved to the Antarctic. A bond sets out to rescue him once again. Antarctica will take all the skills you've learned to succeed. You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Good luck. Do you like beating your favorite video games? If you answered yes, then you're going to love the brand new Backlog Read Pro Hint Hotline. At the push of a button on your telephone, our game masters are standing by to teach you all the best strategies you need to win. Featuring both classic and brand new games, every month we update with the newest and hottest tips you'll love to hear. Can't strike down the Enchantress and Shovel Knight? Have the bosses of Dark Soul 2 got you down? Lost inside the Grand Master's Palace in Strider 3? Get the answers from the real Game Masters at the Backloggery. Call today.